Hello there, welcome to Mr Ridley's Design and Technology. Um, this is a learning check and it's Tools for Wood GCC style questions. So, first one, it has task and tool that is typically used for this task. So, task one is making a curved cut in a thin sheet of wood. And of course that is a coping saw. Task two, hand smoothing the surface of a flat piece of timber. And that is a plane. The plane, this is the plane, it has a blade here, you can push it along and it takes off a thin piece of timber. And last of all, removing waste from a material of waste material from a groove cut on two sides. And that of course is a chisel. The chisel there is used together with a mallet to cut if you had two gro uh, grooves cut and you were cutting the material in between. Okay. Explain the difference between removing material from a softwood block by sanding and planing. So obviously planing, again we'd use the plane, push it along so we can say um, a plane uses a sharp blade to make a flat surface so the plane makes a flat surface and the um, abrasive paper paper um, can shape any uh, surface. Abrasive paper can shape any kind of surface. So that would be, you can, you know, if you've got a curved surface or a, a dome surface, you can use abrasive paper. That's two main differences. Okay, last of all, in the space below, make a drawing showing how two pieces of plywood would be clamped together for gluing with a G-clamp. So basically, if we look here, and we've got our G-clamp here, and we've got the two pieces of plywood, and obviously we just twist this to clamp them up, the glue would be in between. So what we've got to draw is we've got to draw that. So if we draw our two pieces of wood, we could just put a line there, maybe put our glue in here. In exams, quite often, little drawings like this are handy. We're going to try and draw our G-clamp, which is probably the most difficult thing, but we know it's kind of a, a G-shape. And then we draw our thread here. And there it is. So, three questions, uh, answers, coping saw, plain chisel, that would be three marks. This one, the difference between sanding, planing and sanding, another three marks for this question. And last of all, the drawing here, we might just put G, clamp, high wood, glue. Okay. That might just, because it's four marks, we might just annotate it. And there it is. There's the um, Tools for Wood GCSE style questions learning check. Thank you for watching.